Share on Pinterest the smell of your partner's cologne, the touch of their hair against your skin. A partner who cooks a meal, a partner who takes the lead in a chaotic situation. Sexual interests and turn-ons vary from person to person. What gets you going may be nothing like your best friend, or sometimes even your partner. Everyone has sexual urges, some more than others. Because libido and sexual arousal are subjective, it's hard to know what's considered a lot or constant. But if you believe you're having sexual urges more than you're comfortable with or staying in a state of stimulation, there might be a few things to explain that. Keep reading to find out more. General causes Some causes for constant arousal are shared in both people with a penis and people with a vagina. A combination of factors could lead to frequent arousal. Hormones Hormones play a significant role in libido. Spikes of testosterone may boost arousal. Likewise, people who engage in sexual behavior have higher testosterone. That creates a cyclical situation, which could cause a boosted sex drive over time. Aphrodisiac foods Certain foods can increase arousal and make you crave a little time between the sheets. If you're filling your plate with these foods, purposefully or not, you may be giving a bit more fuel to your engine. Alcohol and drugs Does a glass of red wine make you tingle below the belt? You're not alone. Though alcohol and other substances can interfere with sexual function, they may actually make you more aroused to begin with. That's because they loosen up your inhibitions and leave you feeling a bit more frisky than you would be if you were sober. Hypersexuality Hypersexuality is a hotly debated topic among healthcare providers. Everyone's sex drive is unique, but if you're feeling uncomfortable with your sexual urges and find they're interfering with your daily life, like the ability to be productive or form relationships, then it's worth exploring it. Causes affecting the female reproductive system Cisgender women and people assigned female at birth, AFAB, may feel more aroused for these reasons. Menstrual cycle The days in a menstrual cycle are filled with changing hormones as well as events that are designed to activate your sex drive. For example, some people report feeling more easily turned on during the middle of their cycle, or about 14 days before their period starts. That's about the time of ovulation. In terms of evolution, that makes sense. Ovulation is when you'd be most fertile and most likely to conceive. Your body turns up your sex drive to boost chances of procreation. Others report feeling more turned on just before their period. When you have your period, your pelvis is more congested with fluid, which could trigger sexual arousal. Likewise, some people like to be sexual on their period. The blood provides a natural lubricant. The risk for getting pregnant is also lower, though not zero. Full bladder The clitoris, vagina, and urethra are tightly packed in your pelvis. When the bladder is full, it may put pressure on those sensitive areas, which could be arousing. Pregnancy Pregnancy can do funny things to your sex drive. In the first days and weeks, changes to hormones may have you seeing red, for your partner, that is, causes affecting the male reproductive system if cisgender men and people assigned male at birth, AMAB, find themselves constantly aroused, these causes might be part of the reason. Constant contact with genitalia on the outside of the body, frequent rubbing, Tugging, and touching may be a subtle reminder about sexual activities that can lead to constant arousal. Frequent masturbation It's commonly believed men think about being sexual much more than women. Indeed, research says men do think about it a bit more, but only barely. However, there's another thing they do more that may have an impact on arousal. Men masturbate more frequently according to one study. This could lead to more frequent arousal. 
How much arousal is too much? It's not necessarily a bad thing to be horny frequently. Sexual drive is a healthy thing, as is sexual activity. But if you think your constant arousal is getting in the way of other aspects of your life, you may want to consider talking with a doctor or sex therapist. They can help you explore the function of your sexual behavior. If arousal and the need to engage in sexual behavior feels mandatory, or you have a compulsive urge to act on them, you may need to talk about these underlying urges. This could be signs of a hypersexual disorder. Of course, one person's constantly turned on may be very different from another's. It helps to talk with a medical professional about these thoughts and desires. That way, you can get a handle on whether they're typical, or if you need to seek treatment. What to do to lower your libido if you want to dampen your sex drive? A few treatment options may help. Ultimately, you may need to talk with a doctor so you can get a better understanding of possible underlying issues that are playing into your constant arousal. Have regular sex sex can be healthy for more than your relationship. It can help relieve stress and regulate your hormones, too. If you regularly have sex, you might feel fulfilled and not have an unquenchable craving. Workout it's a different kind of physical engagement, but it's certainly one that could help you alleviate some of that sexual tension. Exercise releases some of the same chemicals and hormones as sexual activity. It can help divert your energy into healthy, productive ends. Masturbate as long as masturbation isn't getting in the way of your work, personal relationships, or other commitments. It's a fun way to get to know your body, your likes, and your cravings. Find creative outlets if you want to use that energy for something not related to sex. Consider finding hobbies or volunteer opportunities that can help you apply that passion somewhere else. Take away your libido can change from day to day. It certainly changes throughout your life. If you feel as if you're constantly aroused, that may not be a bad thing. A healthy sex drive can be a positive quality. But if you think your desire for sexual engagement is interfering with your day-to-day -day responsibilities and plans, consider seeing a doctor or sex therapist. They can help you look for possible underlying health issues that could be contributing to your notched-up desire. They might also help you find ways to harness it.